Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. As promised, I am going to be talking about new primers from the drugstore today. I put a few of them to the test, three to be exact. We're gonna talk about the new primer from Garnier, Baby Skin from Maybelline, and the Pore Vanisher from L'Oreal. These are all different price points. They all claim to get rid of the look of your pores, but do different things and have different textures. So we're gonna get to all of that. Also, if you enjoy this makeup look, I'm gonna link in the description box below. I did a tutorial yesterday. This is like my Valentine's Day look. So if you wanna check that out, please do. And let's just get talking about primers. This one from Garnier is actually called the Five Second Blur really kind of gets you excited. Light reflecting technology, it says it fills lines and wrinkles, hides pores, smooths flaws, mattifies shine. I had high hopes for this. Also, this one is oil free, it's allergy tested, and it is fine for, actually it doesn't say fine for sensitive skin, it says gentle to skin. There aren't any crazy ingredients in here, uh, pretty minimal ingredients, dimethicone to give it that nice kind of silicone soft feel to the skin, and this one retails for $16.99. You get a full ounce in here. And I do like this one. I have to say it is not my favorite of the bunch. I do have a favorite, we'll get to. Uh, but this one right here actually has a little bit of a blurring effect to your fine lines, more so than just minimizing your pores. That is what is different about the Garnier 5 Second Blur. You're not just filling in the pores. There's something about the pink tone and there's a slight luminosity. Don't be scared, it's not gonna make you look shiny, but there is a slight luminosity that kind of reflects light and helps those fine lines to not look so apparent. My favorite way to use this particular product is actually on top of my makeup. If my concealer is looking a little bit creasy and I don't necessarily wanna apply more concealer, I will actually take a teeny tiny bit of this under the eye and it just does something to kind of smooth everything out and reset your makeup so this is great for anti-wrinkle if you are a teenager or in your early 20s I don't know that you need this product it's more for the you know if you're having fine lines at 25 that can happen so fine maybe you would like this but this is more the 30 and up crowd I would say uh, I do like that it is slightly mattifying like it is more for combo skin it's not going to make you super shiny because a lot of anti-wrinkle stuff really just like it's like boom luminosity that's how we'll fix it this doesn't it's kind of a medium medium luminosity with some mattifying properties and all in all i give this a b plus Moving on to the much hyped about baby skin. Now you might initially go, oh, that's the most affordable one. It's $6.99, what a bargain. However, keep in mind, you don't get that much product in here. You get 0.67 fluid ounces. And yeah, that's not even an ounce. You pay $6.99, you don't even get a full ounce. I don't know why I'm having like such a dramatic issue over that, but I just am because I think primers, whether you get the baby size, the medium size, or the large size, you're gonna go through it at the same rate. So really, you're not saving that much money, you're just gonna have to buy this sooner. Now this, I feel, is more, it's gonna be better for teenage skin. Now this doesn't make your pores look much smaller at all in my opinion. It does lengthen the wear of your makeup. It does make your skin feel very, very smooth because it is really, like it's that silicone, heavy silicone feel that kind of just smooths everything out. But it doesn't fill the pores in the same way that Benefits Professional does or you know the Clinique Super Primers that I've talked about before. It just, it doesn't get in there. So, and that's the one thing that it says it does. It says it's an instant pore eraser. So I just feel like this is a very light primer. For me, if I'm gonna go the extra step to put a primer on, I want it to do something. I want it to really minimize the look of my pores, maybe help some of the fine lines and extend the makeup wear and get rid of shine and just make things look great. So I really have high, high standards for a primer and this just ended up being a thumbs down. It didn't prevent any shine. I actually felt like I got shinier and because it is just that gel thick silicone texture, kind of like the Smashbox primer, I feel worried that I would break out from a product like this. So all in all, I actually, after 
finally getting a hold of this and being excited to try it, I'm just not really happy with it. So this was a pass. Let's talk about the absolute winner that is my new number one absolute hands down favorite. Like I will be absolutely repurchasing this. This Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher is incredible. It's actually so incredible that it makes me very curious about the L'Oreal Youth Code line in general. I haven't tried anything else from the Youth Code line. But I just really, really like the way that my makeup applies when I wear this. It does prevent shine. It's not overly mattifying, so it doesn't like dry your skin out. I love my Boots Number no. 7 Mattifying Primer, but I find that I can only use it on my very, very oily areas. If I use it everywhere, my skin does start to get dry patches and just look a little off. And my makeup just wears really strangely throughout the day if I wear that everywhere. This one, just makes your makeup look beautiful. It prevents shine. Um, you're still gonna have to touch up, but it's just, there's something about this that whenever I have used this, I have a great makeup day. My pores and fine lines do seem definitely blurred. It has almost the identical texture of the Professional, which I have been using a lot. Like you've seen me in tutorials, I've been using that one nonstop. It's a little more liquidy. It's not as whipped, but it has that kind of tan, creamy, uh, appearance to it and it just melts right into the skin, fills everything in and just preps your face for makeup. The other thing that I like about this one, now who knows if this is true or not, I haven't used it consistently for 30 days, but it does say that over time it will visibly shrink your pores. Who doesn't want that? I mean, who wouldn't want that? It has a micro exfoliant ingredient in here that is going to just help your pores shrink. Now I think it's more on the visibility end because your pores can't really shrink, but you can do things as far as exfoliating and taking care of your skin to make your pores look smaller. You can use this at night. I don't know if I would go that far. I don't know. I don't think I would use this at night. Uh, I do have to say this does have a fragrance in here that is a little bit wonky woo. Like it is, it smells like hairspray or it smells like self tanner. It's really a strange fragrance. I don't know, they kind of missed the mark on that one. It's a weird fragrance, but you know what? Who's smelling my face? It's fine, no one. My skin looks great and the smell does wear away pretty quickly. So it's not like so overpowering. I mean, you guys know I wear my Cody Airspun powder that smells like, that is intense. I don't even know. Every time I put that powder on, I have to like stop breathing for a second. So the scent does go away. Um, that's really the only thing that I could think of that I didn't like about this one, aside from the fact that it is a little up there in price, but you do get 1.4 ounces. So it is the biggest out of the bunch. You get the most, which I love because I don't want to have to go and replace it, you know, a month from now. Uh, this says it is not going to clog your pores. It's non-acnogenic. It's dermatologist tested. It is oil-free, shine-free. This one does say it's suitable for sensitive skin which is interesting because the other two do not say suitable for sensitive skin. This one does. It's fast absorbing, can be used under makeup. So again, you could use it as a treatment at night or you can use it just as your straight up primer, which is what I am doing and what I will continue to do. I am wearing this one today. I, yeah, I love it. This one gets the most giant throw confetti in the air, thumbs up. The next runner up would be the Garnier Five Second Blur, just because I do like this on top of my makeup. And if I wasn't wearing any makeup, this is the one that I would put on just to kind of make my skin appear a little bit cuter, even though I wasn't wearing makeup, this is the one I would choose. And then this guy just, it doesn't even get third place. I just don't like this. You might like it if you are a teenager or and you have like perfect skin with like no pores, or if you like the Smashbox primer and you want a dupe that is way more affordable, this definitely could get it done. Same texture, same feel. So that is it for this week's Hot or Not. I found two new primers I love, one I don't, and that is it. I hope you enjoy this video. Thumbs up if you do. Leave me in the comments, what are your holy grail primers? What are your must have primers? Even like high end, I would be curious to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.